creating VCS configuration in about eight minutes. Let's type the time. We start. We are going to configure an active active VCS with three VIP on AHP 014AA and one VIP on AHP 015AA. First, you type VCS to run the script. You choose number two to build the main .cf file. That is the entire configuration that consists of the multi-nic A, the GPN and EDR. Then it builds the uh, service guards and the dependencies. Hit enter. It identifies your host. If this is your host, you hit enter. Otherwise, you type in the host name. And you need to type in the second host, AHP015AA. It's doing a remote copy uh, to get the IP, the IP information from AHP015AA. Now you need to type in the cluster name and followed by the word VCS. So I type T E S T V C S. Then um, here is your multi NIC uh, configuration. It has the multi NIC for in and EDR, it has the LAN interface from both machines and the IP addresses. The network host is from the etsyresolve.com and this is the multi NIC A. This is the primary of uh, LAN interface and the IP addresses for both machines. This is an IVM virtual machine guest, therefore you only have one uh, LAN interface. If other than that, you should have two LAN interface, the primary and secondary. Are you ready to place this into the configuration? I will say no for now, no and because uh, I will continue creating the service groups. Now it asks the bit name, this is to create the first service group P1RSC1C1 It asks where will it start when you start the VCS. This one will start on HP014AA This I type 1 and it says that no EBR VIP found on P1 RSC1 C1. You can contact the uh, network designer, the PL, or the TSD to inquire. Uh, right now, since it does not find one, it will use the EBR IP instead of the EBR VIP IP. Um, however, when you have the EBR VIP IP, you need to update the main.cf, replace the EBR VIP with this uh, EBR VIP IP. I'm sorry, replace the EBR IP with the EBR VIP IP. The TSD stated that it is okay to use the EBR IP for the EBR VIP. This means the VIP file system will use the OS EBR IP backup instead of its separate EBR VIP IP. He also told me that this is a C instead of a right here, C instead of D. D stands for database. Uh, for the database definitely you will have the separate EBR VIP IP for a database since this is not it will use the the OS EBR IP instead. Type C to continue and it finds the uh, IP address for the this VIP and the subnet mask and it creates the service group. Then you see the disk group right here, the IP NIC uh, for the MEBR VIP however it is using the regular EBR IP so this is the EBR or M EBR IP for 14AA 
and has the mount, proxies, the volumes, and the dependencies. You completed the first configuration um, and they ask you if you want to update the SCFS step to comment them out. Let's check this um, grep on P1RS C1 C1 from FCFS tab. Okay, do you want to comment about? Yes. And let's grab it again. This time you will see that they are commented out. Next is do you have any other? No. You want to continue creating the service group set? Yes. Enter the bit name P1RSC1D3. Where will it start when you start the VCS? Uh, it will be on 14 AA, so you type 1. It finds the um, the VIP IP address, the subnet mask, and is creating the service group. In this one, you notice that we have the P1, RSC1, D3, and EBR VIP. Let's check it out. Yes, it is a is a VIP for the D3. Now per the TSD, the, I earlier I mentioned the C right here, actually this is the last part. D stands for database. Um, so this database will have its own MEBR VIP IP address. Okay, and that's creating the dependencies right here. You finished creating the second service group. Yes, to update the uh, FCFS step. And then uh, any other for FCSF step? No. You have another service group? Yes. This time is the third bit P1RSC1D1. Uh, it will start on 14 AA, so I type 1. It finds the IP address, subnet mask, and it's composing the the third service card. So to create this one service card is really less than uh, 30 seconds. All right, and then you want to command it out again. Uh, I'm going to show this one more time. This time I'm going to grab C1 D1 right here, and you want to command it out? Yes. Command them out. And there you go. We grab it again. They all are commented out now. Okay, next. Uh, any more? No. Do you have other service card? Yes. This one is for the 15A. A. The bit name is P1RSC1D2. It will start on AHP015AA when the VCS started, so I type 2. Find the IP address, the subnet mask, create, and now it has to do a remote copy back and forth, and it created the uh, service group for the D2. Again, it finds the MEBR VIP, and let's find out. Okay, so that is the, uh, the NEBR bit. Now, are you ready to comment out the this one from the SCFS step from AHP 015 AA? So grab P1 RSC1 D2 from SCFS tab right there. Yes, I want to comment them out. Okay, and uh, it's ready to copy. It basically, it, it copy it in and then fix it, and it's gonna copy it back out to 15AA. Hit enter, and now you check it. They are commented out. All right, do you have any other bit? No. 
Do you have other service group? No. And here is the final configuration, complete final config configuration. It has the multi-nix and the service groups, D2, D3, and all the way to this D2, which was the last one. Now, are you ready to place this into main dots yet? Yes, on both 14A and 15A. Are you ready to start it? Yes. Starting it. All right, so now I'm going to bring in the uh, console and we'll start this. So here we go. Um, it is still starting. This one, C1, C1. It is still starting. And, um, and all this thing. And if you look at the status, it's partially online. So let's wait a little bit longer. Okay, D2 appears to be completed and it is up on 15 AA. It look complete. This is for the NEBR, this is for the the VIP. Uh, the, the, the regular GPM. Okay, now we have C1, C1 and D3 are up and D1. So you go here, everything is up. C1, C1 is up on 14 AA. D1, everything is up on 14 AA. D2, uh, and what is that? It is, it was up earlier and it should be on 15 AA. And D3 is up on 14A back to here. Okay, I uh, don't know why it's here, but I started the 15. Uh, I just click on this 15 here, and it looks. Let's go to 15. The sources. It looks good here. I don't know why this one is not updating, but it is up on 15A. Now, if you go to the machine themselves, you type BDF. Everything should be mounted. PDF, the correct VIP should be mounted. That's the end of this uh, preview on how to create a VCS configuration in about eight minutes.